Ira Antelis, who is a lifelong friend of mine, a dear, dear friend. Uh, Ira had gone to the, the doctor and found out that his blood pressure was not in the normal range. And it was a matter of some urgency. Uh, and he had young children, and he had a father who passed away from a stroke in his early 70s. Ira wanted to make sure he was around to celebrate life and be able to celebrate life with his children. You know, uh, So what he did on his own, really creatively, was to find these, he, he did research and he found reports that addressed different things that are found in nature that could help normalize blood pressure. So he put them together um, to make a delicious beverage. He put them together and put it to the test. Well, I dug in. Uh, it sounded like a good idea, and I wanted to be certain that there was evidence about to validate the report about the ingredients to validate the reports that Ira had seen. So I started doing research. I started doing research for clinical studies for placebo-controlled double-blind studies uh, to see if this is really possible. And I was very pleasantly surprised with the results that I found. I started researching beetroot, hibiscus, pomegranate, cranberry, tart cherry, and magnesium. Most of those things are red. They're reds. So the first ingredient is beets, and in this case, beetroot, is very high in something called nitrate. Nitrate the body then converts to nitrite and then nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is a very potent vasodilator. And what that means is that it helps the blood vessel walls relax and allows more blood flow into the blood vessels. The next ingredient is hibiscus. And hibiscus is a natural diuretic. And you know, one of the things doctors will prescribe for people who have issues with blood pressure is a diuretic. And hibiscus is a natural form of that. It also, one of the things it does, aside from helping to get rid of some sodium in your bloodstream, it also helps to preserve potassium. And potassium is actually almost as important as sodium in terms of normalizing blood pressure. Keeping, holding on to potassium is as important as as uh, getting rid of sodium and normalizing blood pressure. Pomegranate is a natural ACE inhibitor, and what that means is it stops the blood vessels from constricting more than they should, which means more blood can flow in the blood vessels. It also happens to be a potent anti-inflammatory as well, so it's, it's good on both fronts that way. The next ingredient is tart cherry, and tart cherry is very high in something called phenolic compounds. And that is what, they're pigments that give fruits and vegetables the red, blue, purple colors. And they're really potent anti-inflammatories. So the next ingredient is uh, cranberry juice. Cranberry juice also has been shown to decrease the amount of a substance found in the body called C-reactive protein. And C-reactive protein is a marker for inflammation in the body, particularly cardiac inflammation. The next ingredient is magnesium. And magnesium is found in fruits and vegetables and grains and seeds and nuts. And it is a very powerful, smooth muscle relaxer. And blood vessels are smooth muscle. So it helps these blood vessels relax, allowing more blood flow into the blood vessels. So to summarize, I've been looking through clinical studies, scouring through clinical studies, and I have found evidence that shows that every one of these ingredients has the potential to help normalize blood pressure. And I, have not, I haven't seen another beverage out there that does this. These, all these ingredients are put together in one beverage. We say in the nutrition field, eat your greens. We say, eat your greens. And, some, and we talk about fruits and vegetables, and sometimes we don't focus on get your reds. Your reds are as important as your greens. And by having this beverage, this beverage has the reds that you need in any given day. And these reds have been shown to help normalize blood pressure. 
In this country, people don't realize how prevalent the problem of, of high blood pressure is. They don't realize how often it occurs. One, according to the American Heart Association, one in three Americans over the age of 20 have high blood pressure. It's like 85 million people. One in three Americans over the age of 20 have high blood pressure. It's a huge problem. One in six people don't even know that they have it. It's, it's a real problem. And high blood pressure, you know, it's not just high blood pressure. It leads to stroke, it leads to heart disease, right? It could lead to kidney failure. It, it has a lot of comorbidities along with it. If a client comes to me with blood pressure concerns, here are the things I tell them. The first and most important thing is to watch your sodium, your salt intake. And it is hidden in so much. You know, the American diet has so much processed food and it's so hidden in processed foods. It's in things you never would think had sodium. It's even in bread. It's in chicken that you get in a restaurant. You know, you have to look for the hidden sources of sodium. The next thing I tell them is you have to increase your potassium intake naturally with food, not with supplements, with food. You have to exercise with your doctor's permission. You have to watch your alcohol consumption. You must quit smoking and you need to normalize your weight and get to a healthy body weight for you.